Hello everyone and welcome to day 19 of the 90 day personal challenge to create positive videos. It is Friday and I work at the University of Tennessee. So I'm representing with orange today. Go Vols! Well today's the letter J and I'm excited about the letter J because J stands for joy. And I'm thinking of you, Marsha, as I think about joy, a hymn song. What is it? I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Down in my heart. All right, stop. Marsha, I'll let you finish that song for me. <laughs> anyway, how much joy are you experiencing in your life? Do you believe that you can have joy every day? As a life coach, this is something I coach big time because joy is a super powerful energy source that can help you achieve your goals. But here's an important question. Where are you getting your joy from? If you receive your joy from outer circumstances, for example, the perfect relationship, the perfect bank account, the perfect body, then this joy is going to be very fleeting. It's going to be dependent on everything working the way that you think it should in order to be happy. It's a superficial sense of joy and unreliable when you're trying to achieve important goals. But there's another source of joy that can be sustaining and powerful and unaffected by life's circumstances. And in fact, can infuse difficult moments with transferring power. What does that mean? I mean, when you have a source of joy that comes from this place, then when you're going through difficult circumstances, you can access this energy at any time to help you see your circumstances differently, a more positive way, and then see the opportunities that will help you get through it. Would you like more of that? Of course you would. Well, now I'm going to show you how to get that. The source of true joy that is so powerful and can create incredible infusing energy in life comes from you. And you can get it anywhere. You could be in the bathroom, you could be in your car, you could be doing chores, you could be at work where you can access and even increase this joy. How do you do it? Well, it comes from spending time with yourself. Now, what does that look like? A lot of you might think it's just meditating. Yes, that's a very powerful way to uh, build and nurture the relationship with yourself, which will produce joy. That is the truth. So spend some time finding out who you are, what your feelings are, what's in your heart. Did you see that little catch on the letter H from the other day? Yes, to discover what's in your heart and how you want to live your life. When you take the time to be honest with yourself and your feelings and who you are and engage where your life is at, you are taking the time to be in relationship with yourself. And when you take the time to be in relationship with yourself and honor your compass, you, who you are in the, at the deepest level, then joy will come out of it. Because what will happen is you will start to feel aligned. You will start to feel more in control of where your life is and where you want to take it. But there are other sources of joy as well. If you have a hobby that you love to partake in, you can increase your joy from that space. But let me show you how. It's not just from doing the activity. It's in recognizing the relationship with yourself in the midst of that activity. What? Diane, did you get too deep for us? Yes, that's my nature, but I'm going to explain this. Let's say you love gardening, or you love motorcycle riding, or you love hiking, or you love doing the dishes. When you're in the middle of the activity that you're doing, there's such value in enjoying the activity that you're partaking in, the gardening, the connection with earth, the riding of your motorcycle, the wind in your face, the... um whatever, riding a fast car or going fishing or taking salsa lessons, all of these things feel really, really good. But when you take the time to recognize that you're doing this for yourself and you recognize the relationship of the experience that you're having with yourself and that you're giving it to yourself, there is a moment in the present that can activate the connection of bonding and love between you and that experience. What? All right, I'm gonna give an experience. Okay, I'm gonna use hiking. When I go hiking and I'm in nature, nature is beautiful and I love the feeling that it gives to me to look at the water flowing down um, the creek and um, to see the beautiful trees and to feel my feet on the earth. 
But when I think about the time that I'm taking to go hiking and connect with nature and with myself, something happens in that moment. When I'm fully present with the activity that I'm partaking in and feel that connection between me and me, um, there's a powerful transaction that begins to take place and transform me. I start to feel the joy inside of my heart because I'm taking care of me and I'm dictating my happiness and joy in life. Does that make sense? So this might be a foreign thing to you. Many people, they go in experiences and they either connect with other people or they connect with the thing that's outside of them and then become dependent on that thing for their joy. If you instead take the experience and allow the experience to connect you with you, that is a much stronger source of joy. And in actuality, it ends up... It ends up giving more to everything outside of yourself, including the relationships you're in. So I know that was a little bit deep, but I challenge you this week, take some time to, to do something that you love to do. And then when you're doing it, take the time to have a conversation with yourself and appreciate what you're doing and what you're giving to yourself in that moment. As you do that, you're going to start filling your cup with joy. And this is incredible energy source for achieving goals and also getting through difficult moments in your life. Because when these hard times rise up, you can get into the present moment and access the connection that you have with you, yourself, your deepest level, and be able to trust that relationship to guide you to the next level. I hope I made sense. And I hope you learn to fill your cup with joy. I mean, how can it not even be fun? This is a fun assignment. Go do it. Do something this weekend. And share your comments below with me. If you like these videos, I'd also love it if you share them on Facebook um, and Instagram. Share them with your friends if you think that they might inspire someone else. Anyway, I hope you have a fabulous day and that you feel the joy in my heart for you. I will see you on the next video.